Hey YouTube, it's Michael Lambert here. I'm back once again with another reaction video. Once again, I'm reacting to the Southern Snack in this video, Starbucks Summer Remix Menu Review. One last summer promo. This is one of the new ones that he uploaded yesterday and I'm gonna react to it right now. And if any notifications pop up during the video, I apologize and I will take care of them. Now let's get to this video. And welcome back to the Southern Snack, where life is too short to be serious. All right, bear with me as I try and get this thumbnail together. But Starbucks is doing everything they can to say no to pumpkin spice until the last minute. They're literally probably going to be one of the last entrants into the pumpkin spice oh game with Duncan jumping in tomorrow. Wawa was, was supposed to jump in yesterday, but I haven't seen anything on that. And... Uh, uh, you've got a few more, uh, you know, companies jumping in. I know Seven Brew will probably wait till September 1st, so they'll probably be like one of the very last, but y'all don't know who Seven Brew is. When we're talking about national chains, Starbucks is absolutely going to be the last. Rather, we like it or we don't like it. You know, that's just life. But they've got some summer remix drinks through the app. These may not look great, but whatever. It's because they melt and they just they fall apart from where they start. That rhymes. Fall apart from where they start. That's just how life is sometimes. Sorry, I had an itch on, on my head and on the side of my head too. Sorry about that, everybody. So what do we have? Okay, so we... They didn't give me a straw, but I got a straw. We have three different drinks. And uh, they're summer remixes. And you're supposed to order them through the app. But when I went on the app, there's no way for me to order it. So I just walked in there and said, hey, this ain't happening, fam. Can you do it for me? And they did it. Now, I probably paid more, but as someone that does food reviews, I don't care. I'm having fun. So we're out here to have fun. We're going to start with the, the, the most boring one. We're going to end it out with the one I'm going to prefer. So this one is... Uh, lemonade and black tea and it's frozen of course so let's go ahead and try this Ooh. black tea is bitter I can't say that's for me and, you know, their frozen drinks are kind of watery to begin with. Wow. But, man, that's just not it. That's just not it, guys. Just, just too much bitterness. No, I don't like that. I do not like that that much. I mean, I think some people will. It's got a defined taste to it. But... Not enough sweetness to it. Definitely not enough sweetness. Um, I'll give it a three. It's not the worst thing I've had, oh but it's not goodness. very good. All right, moving yeah. on to the ice chai matcha cold foam. The matcha cold foam has really dipped into this thing. Here, here's where you know you can see the ice chai. But yeah, ice chai. You know, ice chai latte with you know. Matcha green tea cold film. Ooh. Now that, that I can get behind. I didn't think I was going to like this one. But there's a sweetness to it. It's not like your normal green tea and regular tea are joining forces. It's not just chai and matcha. There's a sweetness. I don't know if it's like a vanilla sweetness in here. I would say probably so. Oh my goodness gracious, wow. That is really warming my soul for, for a cold beverage. Wow. It's herbal, it's flavorful. That is not what I expected out of iced chai. Which I guess there's coffee in there too. Probably. 
I am chugging that thing. That is good. That is real good. Um, I think my one complaint is that with the sweetness, it kind of takes away from the profiles that I expected. Um, you know, I, I was expecting a more herbal, more green tea-esque type of drink. And while this is amazing, it does kind of come short on that. Um, so I am going to have to knock it down a little bit. I'm going to give it an eight and a half. I was going to, I was thinking nine, but no, eight and a half because wow. I really think they really missed the mark on that, that green tea. Something is just not hitting there. So now we're going to finish it off with the caramel lined cup uh, filled with chocolate cream, cold foam, and cold brew. Their chocolate cold foam's decent. It's not something to, you know, jump over leaps and bounds for. Sorry about that. Sorry for mumbling to myself. Sorry about that, everybody. And let me take care of this notification. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that, everybody. was just okay today. I don't know. I don't know. I feel like I've rated the chocolate cream higher before. It's definitely had a more robust taste in the past, but this is just fine. It's just okay. Um, I would probably give it a seven today. I think it, it tastes wow. good. Um, you know, you got all the right notes. There's nothing like off-putting. There's nothing that's, oh, it's just yeah, I'm saying it's just okay. I think it's good, but it's not saying it's, I don't think there's heavy improvements to be made. I think they just kind of came short on the chocolate cream cold foam today. And, uh, you know, I think a beverage is better with the caramel mixed in rather than it lined in the cup. But that's how it came. That's how they did it. And that's just how it is. It's good, but it's not the most amazing drink. So shockingly, the ice chai for the win. Good job on that one. Wow. Even though I think it could have used some more herbal flavor, I think they did a good job. So, um, wow. overall summary, I'm just ready for their fall drinks. We ain't got much longer, about a week to go. So, this is a last minute push for them to get you to avoid uh, Duncan. They're just saying, come here instead of going to Duncan this week. So, that's really what they're saying. Giving you one more week of summer without bending the backs, well, they might be bending the backs of employees either way, but they're not making them learn anything new, so, anyways, I hope you enjoyed this review, I know it was a little long-winded, but, uh, that happens when you do three drinks sometimes, other than that, I will see y'all around, yay, yay, awesome video, I give it a thumbs up, and let me take care of these notifications, I'll be right back, everybody, okay, I'm back, sorry about that, everybody, and I hope you all enjoyed this reaction video. If you're all new to my main channel or my second channel or to the Southern Snacks channel, make sure you guys subscribe. Give both our videos a thumbs up. Hit the notification bell to let you guys know when we both post. And share both of our videos with your friends and family members too, please, everybody. And on my main channel, we are on the road to 8,000 subscribers. And on my second channel, we are on the road to... To 4,000 subscribers and please don't forget to take a look at my other videos on my channel's playlists on both my main channel and my second channel and give them a thumbs up and share them with your friends and family members too please everybody I would really appreciate it and please help me accomplish my goal to get 8,000 subscribers or more on my main channel and 4,000 subscribers or more on my second channel too please everybody I would really appreciate that too and please help me bring my views and watch hours up on my main channel by taking a look at my other videos that are on the two playlists that are on my main channel and give them a thumbs up and share them with your friends and family members too please everybody i would really definitely appreciate that 
And please help me bring my subscriber count up on my main channel as well. Also, please, everybody, I would really definitely appreciate that, too. Please, everybody, please, please, everybody, please. And sorry about my words running together a while ago, too, everybody. I'm sorry about that. I really am. Sorry about that, everybody. My bad. And I'm off now, so until next time, see ya.